Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we work out the scale of a map or a photo or anything really where we can figure out what one of the measurements is. Now for this map of Murawai we have in front of us, we're told down the bottom that one grid square is equal to a kilometre. So we can use this length here on our grid to figure out it's one millimetre. So simply all we do is we take our ruler, we measure along there, we find that that length of one kilometre is actually four centimetres. So what we need to do now is to convert this into a ratio. Now there are three different methods of writing a scale of course. The first one is a line scale. So if we simply use our book that we have there, we can say a linear scale or a line scale is simply drawing a line and saying that this line here is one kilometre. So that is how we draw our line scale. If we then want to convert that into a statement, we can say all we know is four centimetres equals one kilometre. So that is a statement. So we have our statement of the length being four centimetres equals one kilometre. So that's our two ways of doing a scale. The third way, of course, is to make a ratio. So what we need to do is first of all start off with what we know. And we know that four centimetres equals one kilometre. So that's going from a statement. If we want to convert this into a ratio, we need to convert our units into the same on both sides. So this side we have centimetres, and this side we have kilometres. So what we need to do is convert that. So moving through we say 4 centimetres actually equals 1000 metres. Nothing's changed, 1000 metres still is 1 kilometre, but now we have 4 centimetres equals 1000 metres. So we take it another step, we say 4 cent centimetres equals 1000 metres times 100, so take it for centimetres, equals 100, there we go, 100,000 centimetres. Now a quick cheat to understand is if you know that one kilometre equals 100,000 centimetres, you can take out that middle section there. So one kilometre is in fact 100,000 centimetres. So now we have both units the same on one side and the other. Now what we want to do is to convert this into a 1. So divide this side by 4, divide this side by 4 to get rid of that guy there. So 1 centimetre equals 100,000 divided by 4 equals 25,000. So now we have a ratio of 1 to 25,000. So that tells us that this map, if we go back to the map, this map here, the ratio that we're going to use for that map is 1 to 25,000. It's a simple way of figuring out how or what the ratio is of a given map if you know one direction on that map. So here's another map we can try figuring out the ratio on. We've got a little map of Western Vitilebu. Down the bottom we have a linear scale, but we have no ratio. So if we need to figure out what the ratio is, the steps you follow are exactly the same as what we did last time. We take a ruler, we measure on here. Now this time we have 3 centimetres equals 10 kilometres. So we're going to have a very different ratio on this one. So we start off by writing down what we need, what we already know. 3 centimetres equals 10 kilometres. So we work through as well. Remember we're trying to get both units on this each side the same. So we start with our 3 centimetres equals 10 kilometres, which is what we know. This is going to probably be a pretty ugly number, but here we go anyway. Now if you want to go to 1 straight away, we can divide both sides by 3. But let's just go through the process I made earlier with expanding out the numbers we have. So 3 centimetres equals 10,000 metres. 3 centimetres equals 10,000 and then chuck 2 extra zeros on to make centimetres. So we're looking at 1 million centimetres. So 3 centimetres equals 1 million centimetres. So then we divide both sides by 3. And hopefully we don't need a calculator for this one. We can figure out that 1 centimetre equals 333,333. If you want to go decimal points you can. But then we figure out that this map of Western Viti Levu in 
VG is sitting at a ratio of 1 to 333,333. Working through from what we know, 3 centimeters equals 10 kilometers, all the way down to a ratio down the bottom of 1 to 333,333. So hopefully that will give you a better understanding of how to convert a line scale into a ratio.